Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Get ready, it's time to face off against the dreaded 9-7. Easily the hardest level world thingy in the game. Trust me, uh, no words can describe the difficulty of this one. Now you'll notice that there's ice blocks. Well, those ice blocks either contain coins or munchers. Mostly munchers. So when they get melted by those piranha plants, they start nipping at your feet. So you have to get through the stage pretty quick. That first star coin, not hard at all. Trust me. Oh shoot, that thing throws three or shoots three fireballs? Holy poopers. And there's also these eggs here. They're Goomba eggs of some sort. And they, when you burn them, Goombas pop out of them. Needless to say, your fireballs, as well as the Piranha Plant's fireballs, affect these things. And it's, it's like a combination of the jungle along with the ice. It's a really cool stage, but at the same time, so, so difficult. Okay, now you'll see what I mean about the Star Coins. You'll see the... This one right here. Now what you want to do is burn that like that, get across and through there quickly. Run across, take the hit, I don't even care. Now for the last star coin, you have to do some wall kicks down there. However, I'm going to just save my star coins and come back for the third coin in just a second. Play smart people, play smart. Run, 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 slide! And we're back over, oh boy, back over here, oh my goodness gracious, great balls of fire, literally. Okay, now what you want to do here is wait for him to destroy all the blocks on top of that uh, wall kick area. Now, oh this is actually a pretty good position here, because I got this little ledge to land on once I collect the coin. Okay, here. Oh, shoot! That was perfect, too! Ah, I got trapped. Okay, we're back over here. This time, taking you out. And, well... Okay, that should be pretty good. And just... Ooh, this might be tricky, because there's one less block on this side than there was before. Eh, eh, eh. And we're back over here. Well, clear out the way, man. Clear it out. Uh, will this be enough? Will this be okay? Guess we're gonna find out. Wait, wait, I think I got it. Yes! Okay, that wasn't as bad as I remember it, but it's done. And I did take a lot of, a lot of lives compared to other special stages. Except maybe that bullet one. That was pretty difficult because of all those bonsai builds getting in your way. Anyway, one stage left, and this is 9-8. This stage is extremely easy, actually. Uh, it's, it's, it seems more of like a joke stage more than anything. You've got these bouncy clouds. They automatically bounce you up into the air when you hit, hit them. There's no control over your jump. So I guess, in a way, that's kind of like a gimmick. But at the same time, you've got these safety platforms over here. You've got a propeller power-up. You've got the works to keep you safe, so the stage really isn't hard at all to beat. Even 100% on your first run isn't hard at all. Um, but there is a very large gimmick later on, and that's what I... This is actually why I think the stage is more of a joke stage than anything. Is that there is... Well, I'll, I won't spoil it. I'll let you see when I get to it later. Uh, because it's just so silly that you just can't help but, you know, it's just one of those kind of things that you have to be surprised by in order to laugh at. <laughs> so let's just leave it at that and keep going through this stage. All the coins are in plain view. Here's coin number two. Just have to be ahead of the game there. Uh, you know, ahead of the screen just a little bit to uh, get to that coin easily. And then you'll be at the right timing. So number three is coming up soon. What you want to do when you get up to this spot is start getting on top of these blocks. Why? Well, there's those bouncing Goombas down there. But see that? See those coins? Do they look 
Yeah, they look like that. <laughs> They're bullet shaped. And that's the gimmick of the stage. Ginormous bullet bills. I don't know the name of them. They're like gargantuan bullet bills, but they're invincible. Uh, but they only give they only take one hit away from you, so I guess they're very, very gimmicky more than anything. That's what I mean about them being a joke. See they they take I mean they give you a lot of damage, but I mean they don't take they don't give you a lot of damage, excuse me, but they break a lot of blocks, they cause a lot of havoc, but they don't really do much to you, and they're easy to dodge because you can tell where they're coming from thanks to those coins. Now, here comes two at the same time, one from the left, one going straight up, Woo! and there is the last star coin. And that's pretty much the end of this walkthrough as it is, really. Um, but after finishing the stage, you're going to notice that you don't have five stars. So how do you get five stars, anyway? You got all the coins, you completed all the stages, how do you do it? Well, there's actually a requirement for each star. It isn't It isn't like based off of how many coins you collect or if you get yeah. all of them. It's... Yeah, hoo 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 indeed, Mario. Uh, so, if you were to go back to your save file, you'll notice that it's got four stars on it. So anyway, how do you get them? Well, there, there's requirements to getting each stars, as I was saying. Well, what I'm gonna do is go to... The uh, select world thingy, not the item, <laughs> it's, it's the minus button, excuse me, and go back to world one. Why am I going back to world one? Well, in order to get one of the stars, you have to visit all of these cannons. Yes, that's one of the requirements to get all of the uh, stars. I don't know why, because they're not, you know, really stages in themselves. I guess you could kind of consider them stages. In a way, because you know you have to travel to these cannons and watch. <laughs> and you get transported over, well, shot to World 5, in this case, for this cannon. And I'm just gonna go through all the worlds like that until I get all the cannons while I explain to you how to get all the stars in this game. The next thing to get a star is you have to collect all the coins from worlds 1 through 8, you know, all the way up to Bowser's Castle. So that's star number 2. Star number 3 is gotten for getting all the star coins in world 9. Um, number 4 is for all the secret exits. Let's see. Star coins in two, 1 through 8. I'm, I'm trying to remember how this is done. Um, I mean, how it's... Give me a minute here while I keep going through these cannons. Okay, you have to go through 1 through 8, get all the coins in 1 through 8, Secret Exits, Bowser's Castle, World 9... Oh, okay, yeah, it's... it's. <laughs> I'm sorry for all this stuttering here, I'm just really thinking about this uh, while I'm going through these cannons as well. The... Uh, you're, gonna, you're gonna be in my way, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Uh, okay. So get all the star coins from worlds 1 through 8, all the star coins in world 9, those equal 2 stars apiece, and then you want to find all the secret exits in all the worlds, that's for the third star coin, all the cannons, and what, what was the last one? <laughs> Dang it, I should have wrote down a list of them. Uh, why am I even showing this anyway? I should just cut to after I finish all these cannons. And you're gonna be in my way too, aren't you? Dang you! Okay, I got it. Get all the star coins in worlds 1 through 8. That's for one star. Get all the star coins in world 9. That's for another. Beat Bowser's Castle for a third. For the fourth, get... I mean, visit all the cannons. For the fifth, find all the secret exits. And now there's a bonus. If you manage to get through all the stages without activating a Super Guide block, you know those blocks that I described before back in that Parabeetle stage? Um, if you manage to get get through all the stages without activating one of them, not, I mean, not making one appear, excuse me. Like, if you die eight times in a single level, you'll make a super guide block appear. If that happens, you'll have lost out on this uh, 
special thing. Because if, if you, excuse me, if you save after you activate the ability to use a super block, whether you use it or not, you'll lose this ability. Now, this ability is to get, ow, oh, is to get shiny stars on your save file. If you manage to do that, well, I guess that would be a true 100%, but I actually screwed up on that Buzzy Beetle stage yet again. I put it in the video description that said that I activated a super block and I wanted to be fair. I didn't want to, you know, use cuts to, uh, you know, avoid that and, and not save because then I would have to go through the world and my life counter would be reset. And, you know, I just wanted to keep it as legit as possible. So I missed out on getting the, the shiny stars on my save file, but I don't really consider them part of 100%ing this game because of the fact that, you know, you can lose out on them forever if you save after getting a super block to pop up. So yeah, that's why I don't really consider that an importance. But if you would like to get shiny stars on your save file, go right ahead. Anyway, I'm really blabbering on here. <laughs> uh, so I'm, I think what I'm going to do is just go through the rest of these cannons. Um, you're going to get in my... Oh, no, you're not going to get in my way. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Those uh, cursed world enemies, you know, the map enemies or map events, really get in the way when you're trying to go through all these cannons. As I said before, I didn't want to show all these cannons ahead of time because then I would skip to a world later on and you know I don't want to do that because then I'll spoil what the next world looks like and stuff like that. Yeah you get the idea. So that's basically why I'm going through them now to get a perfect save file. Well perfect in my opinion excuse me. Uh, I shouldn't say in my opinion by my standards that's what I should say because perfection is indeed I mean, is, is indeed would be a shiny save file, a shiny star save file of five stars. But, nah, I, don't, I just don't really think that's a fair thing Nintendo did there. That you, that you could completely miss out on that, you know, from the very... I mean, if you get a super guide block for any reason whatsoever, even if you don't use that super guide block. That just doesn't seem fair to me. I mean... If you don't use the super guide block, why should you lose out on getting the shiny stars, right? I mean, who cares if it appears? Anyway, one more to go in... Wait, is there one more in the sky world? I don't remember if there's a, one in the sky world. I guess we'll find out once I get, get an alert. Because once I get all the stars... Oh, wait, there we go! Yep, there's no cannon in the sky world. So, yep, the game is now 100% complete. To uh, prove it to you, I'm going to go to the menu, save, yeah. This will be like a quick save sort of thing, or, oh wait, maybe it won't be. I guess quick saves are only if you uh, um, are in the middle of a world, like during the game itself, not the post-game, so to speak. So, uh, here we go. There you go. Five star save file. Well, I don't have 99 lives, but uh, I could easily get two more lives just by going through the first stage. Anyway, this walkthrough was really fun from start to finish. I'm quite sad that it's over, actually, but I really, really have to get back over to uh, doing Super Mario Sunshine because I, I put that off due to some uh, glitches in my video editor as well as the YouTube annotation editor. Uh, and, and that just became very frustrating. That's why I, I kind of had a rage quit, so to speak, of sunshine around the moment. But everything is fixed, including YouTube's annotation editor, which is uh, pretty nice. Because usually YouTube takes forever and a half to get to anything, honestly. Um, I'm going to attempt to get this toad to the end of the stage to get... Um, Three lives, hopefully. Oh shoot! Well, at least I. Oh, I was gonna say at least I took the hit and not Toad, but Toad ended up taking a hit anyway. <laughs> oh well. So yeah, as I was saying, this walkthrough very fun, but I really, really shouldn't do two walkthroughs at the same time because then people get like, "Hey, when are you gonna get back to this one? Hey, when is another part of this game coming up?" You know, I'd rather have it being sort of predictable in a way, so it doesn't mess with people's routine of what they're expecting, so to speak, instead of just putting out 
uh, a part of this sometime, and oops, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh, well. Well, let's see if I get a one-up for uh, getting these coins. Yep, there we go. So that's kind of why I would like to just stick with one game at a time most of the time. And I should be able to get a one-up just for completing the stage, because I'll be able to get to the end by, uh, like this, and just grabbing the top of the flight pole. And yeah, that's the end of the walkthrough. I'm blabbering. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next walkthrough. Well, after sunshine. Doo-doo!